All right, guys. So as you can tell, we have no table today because we don't need it. So today, what I did was I went on Amazon and I searched through Amazon and I looked for the absolute dumbest products that I could possibly find. And I found some really dumb ones and that's what, gonna be what we test today. The, the first thing that I found, I found two variations of, both of which I think are extremely dumb. So this is the first one. <laughs> the, the, two, the two products I'm referring to are invisible chairs. So the idea is that you strap these things to your legs and you have like a built-in chair in, like on your legs is the idea. I don't think this is going to work. The nice part is about these is that there's no instructions. They literally just came in a beat up box that had nothing inside of it. So, I mean, I can kind of imagine like what I'm supposed to do with it. Um, I don't think they're labeled right or left. I don't think it matters which way you put what, each one. So the idea is basically you strap it to yourself and then this is gonna like bend like this and you'll sit on this. We probably need to slip our leg through here. I feel like this is uh, not big enough. Make an educated guess and say we want this bend Probably to be even with our knee. I assume maybe this is supposed to go like to your ankle, maybe. <laughs> How is this supposed to? Oh, gotcha. But then this, there's like no good way to get this thing tight all the way up as high as I can. <laughs> As tight as I can. I'll, let's put the other one on, and then let's uh, let's test it outside. All right. So first of all, let's just do a little walking test. Let's just <laughs> walk back through here. These make it extremely hard to walk. It's almost like you're in like some type of brace, which I guess kind of you are. Imagine if you if you were, like wanted an invisible seat, like presumably you would be going somewhere where you're gonna be like waiting for a long time like maybe a line or you know someplace where you're going to be walking and waiting for a long time so imagine <laughs> imagine walking somewhere for like hours and hours like this just so that you can have a chair i should just be able to sit down and now i have my invisible chair so I'm not gonna lie, that hurt. Something stabbed me in the back of the leg. That, <laughs> that didn't work at all. Oh. There's something that's like just snaps and it just can't hold the weight. Let me go real, real slow. Oh. Oh. Okay, yeah, these things, these are things, these things are about as stupid as I thought they would be. All right, so <laughs> these is the, this is the other set of the uh, invisible chairs. Basically, they work the same way, or they're supposed to anyway. Strap it to your leg and then just sit down. I have very little faith. I'm also a little bit confused because it came with, actually it had a picture let me show you that. It has an instruction manual and it's supposed to work like that. And it has instructions, but they're all in Chinese. I don't speak Chinese, but I can read pictures. So I have that going for me. <clears throat> so from what I understand, maybe I'm more confused than I thought I was. So if that's supposed to go around the back of your leg, how do they connect together? Maybe like this? These straps, I don't even have, my legs aren't even that big. And these straps are like at the max. <laughs> okay. 
And I got this. You know, this actually might have a chance. It's very, very uncomfortable. And it's really like squeezing against my calf. But, it might have a chance. Oh. <laughs> this one, <laughs> this one's even worse. If you, I mean, you, you'd be walking around like this the whole time. <laughs> like you're 90 years old. <laughs> How are you supposed to, is the chair even worth it if you gotta walk like this? This belt, that is like, supposed to somehow help, and I think I'm supposed to take these straps and then hook them through my belt. All right, let's do the walking test again. Oh. <laughs> this is like max speed that I can walk. If you had to walk really fast, <laughs> there's, no, there's no way. All right, so I walked a long way somewhere. I would like to have a seat. I'd like to relax for a minute. Let's see. I just don't these I just don't think these things work. How am I, how am I supposed to get up? You can't like you can't bend your legs back so you're stuck like this. Maybe I need to like sit down but like lean forward maybe so I don't fall backwards so much. But how am I supposed to sit down and lean forward at the same time? Okay. Oh, they just want to like slide out from under my legs. Hold on. <laughs> whoa. Oh yeah, this is, whoa, this is so much better than just standing. I mean, it's technically working a little bit. Like I, I, I technically am sitting. Oh. Although I can feel this thing like really. Oh, oh. <laughs> you can't, you can't balance on this thing at all. I hate how I can't just like get up. I gotta like spin to get up. These things suck about as bad as you'd think that they would. Let's try maybe, what if, what if you sit up against a wall? Maybe then it'll be all right. Oh. Oh. I think we might have found the secret sauce. Except for these things, where they're like lined up with my legs, they keep wanting to like flare out and not like actually hold me. It, it really hurts the underside of my thighs a lot because that metal is just digging in there. But as far as being a, like a seat, this actually kind of works. It actually feels pretty sturdy. How useful is this really? This is just like, like what is this? Between not being able to walk and also not being able to sit down, these things are pretty much useless. So before we go any farther, this video is sponsored by Manscaped. So did you know that one man every hour of every day is diagnosed with testicular cancer? And it is actually the most common cancer amongst men aged 15 to 35. So back in April, it was Testicular Cancer Awareness Month, and Manscaped has decided that they want to spread awareness of testicular cancer throughout the entire year. So they decided to bring back the limited edition Lawnmower 4.0. Now, this is the same Lawnmower 4.0 that we all know and love. The only difference is that it is purple, but you still get everything you like about it. The skin safe technology, the 90 minute battery life, waterproof, all that good stuff. It's just purple and it is limited edition. So also Manscaped has partnered again with the Testicular Cancer Society. Back in April, they donated $25,000. They're doing another $25,000. So that's a total of $50,000 that they have donated to help uh, testicular cancer. So if you are interested in picking up a limited edition lawnmower 4.0, there are only 15,000 units available. So there will be a link in the description. You can click on that link and you can use code tube and you will get 20% off plus free shipping. All right, the next thing on our list, ironically, <laughs> is another type of chair. So this is supposed to be like some type of, uh, some type of gardening chair. You're supposed to, be able to strap this thing around you. <laughs> Look how, Look how dumb that looks. 
I guess you don't have to use this for gardening. I guess you could use this for... That looks... <laughs> that looks good. So I guess the idea is you just wear this thing and then <laughs> you wear it. It's like, oh, here's some flowers I would like to plant. And then you just... Actually... This actually works. It looks really stupid and it's really uncomfortable. But, like if I was walking, <laughs> and I sit down, I have a seat. That's so weird. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what to say about this, because it works. It's very uncomfortable to wear. It's like, it kind of feels like you have a diaper on or something. Like, you gotta, like, be all, like, like bow-legged to even, like, move around. But, like, I guess if you were, say, if you were, like, planting like a bunch of flowers like in a row and you're kind of like you know you're here and you're planting flowers or whatever and then you got to go over here and then you, you you do something and then you go over here and you do something i guess i could see where it would be useful but it just <laughs> it's very uncomfortable and it looks very uh it looks very dumb but uh i mean technically it does work so i guess maybe it's not uh, not as stupid as i thought so Moving on to the next one. The next one, <laughs> this one, this one's right up there with the invisible chairs because this is ironically enough, another chair. So now we have the sit pack. <sighs> this is supposed to be like a compact type of chair. It's supposed to be like portable, I guess. I guess this is like a carrying case. Okay, so this is a, this is a portable carrying case. It's got little magnets. Actually, it's got little snaps that just snap onto it. So you can keep it. So you can keep your sit, sit pack safe. Oh well, that's dumb. Anyway, this is like a portable chair. You could put like in a pocket, <clears throat> whatever. Maybe like if you're going, going somewhere where you're gonna be waiting in line or whatever, and you're gonna need a chair, you can take this with you. Whenever you get to the place where you need the chair, you can open this up and then extend this out and it, it twists to lock. And the idea is now you have a chair that you can lean on, I guess. And then, <laughs> now this is supposed to be your chair. This is, uh, <laughs> this is horrible. It just feels like there's something like digging into you or something. Like, like if you're trying to, like if you've ever been, if you've ever been to like an amusement park and you're waiting in, in line for like a roller coaster and there's like the railings that go along the whole line and you're trying to like your feet are getting tired and you're trying to like find something to lean on, and so like this is kind of a little bit better than standing but not really that great. This is kind of what like that reminds me of. It's almost like you're like taking a hand railing with you. And if you get done. Pack it up and away you go. I don't know how to rate this because like it does work. Like it folds up, it seems pretty sturdy. It does work. You can lean on it. Like I, I would rather just like, I don't know, find like a like a wall or something to just like lean against or whatever. I guess if you don't have a wall to lean against, I'd rather just like sit on the ground or something than to have to bust this, well for one, carry this thing around. Two, bust this thing out and have everyone around me wonder like what in the world does this guy have? And then you pull this thing out and then you're doing this. Like, <laughs> it doesn't, it's, and it's not even that comfortable. It already kind of like starts to hurt. Like it just feels like somebody is just like jamming a, a hard plastic thing into your butt. To do, to do this for like 30 minutes or something, if I was waiting in a line somewhere or something, absolutely not. I would, rather, I would either sit on the ground or I would just r rather stand than have to deal with this. So this thing does like, do what it's supposed to do the overall idea i think is just really 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 dumb i definitely am not a fan of this uh sit pack idea <sighs> so next we have an umbrella hat i saw this on amazon and i was like there's no way that real people real life humans actually use this wow this thing is big actually this does not make any sense 
Unless... Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That makes a little more sense. <laughs> this thing, this thing is huge. Come on. There's no way that real live, actual people use this thing. Come on. I mean, I guess you'd be protected from the rain, maybe. All right, I got some. <laughs> I'm gonna simulate some rain here. Let's see if I get wet. Oh, that's not it. You know what? I mean, I gotta admit, I am completely dry, and all the rain is literally going all the way around me. This is, I mean, this is, this is actually working, other than my arms sticking out. Okay, maybe this isn't as dumb as I thought. This actually works. As, lo as long as you're like standing and like holding still, I think you would be fine. Now, like, let's just say you had to run somewhere. No, no, that doesn't even work. But if you like run like this, <laughs> so this is a this is a uh, this is something you only use while you walk. And if it's raining, you need to stay within the perimeter. Like, put your arms in, and then just walk very slowly. And I think you would probably actually end up being fine. Who's gonna wear this in public? Like, write in the comments. Whatever would you like? go to an amusement park or like some outdoor activity if it was gonna rain and wear this thing? Probably not. <laughs> but I think it's really, really stupid. But like, as far as functionality, it does work. Next on our list, head hoop basketball game set. For so, so, like you're supposed to be playing basketball on top of your head. Now, I don't know about you, but that sounds pretty stupid to me. This already looks great. Oh, I gotta assemble this thing? I gotta put the net on this thing and everything? I guess there's only three poles, so that's not horrible. Why is that lopsided? <laughs> what kind of Photoshop job is this? Because look, you can see it right here, right? You can see the third pole coming down right here, and then there's just a gap. It just disappears. How's that supposed to work? Okay, well, I didn't know you had to have an engineering degree to put this thing together. There we go. Wow, so nice. Okay. Wow. Okay, here we go. One. Two. Oh. This is supposed to be fun. This is what we do for fun now. This is, I'm having a blast. I'm having the time of my life. So fun. It's also so challenging. Come on, we gotta get the last one in. <laughs> okay, this is re this is really stupid. Um, let me know in the comments, would you play this game? Because I, I think this is one of the dumbest games I've ever played in my life. All right, so now we have all of the uh, really, really dumb stuff out of the way. I have two honorable mentions that could be dumb, or maybe they won't be dumb. We'll just have to see. So the first one is this. This is a desktop vacuum. Now... The reason that I think this is dumb is uh, I just don't think it's gonna work because it's just like a little battery powered little vacuum. I don't think it's gonna I don't think it's gonna be very useful. So we're gonna take some crackers, smash them up. All right, let's pretend like we have a mess.
All right. Well, I was wrong. <laughs> so it's not uh, it's not great. I mean, it doesn't pick up everything, but that's honestly way, way, a million times better than I thought it was going to be. Oh, it even like the fan, I guess. Okay. That was dumb, but I guess the fan crushed him up. That must be why I was hearing the, uh, like the motor kind of bog down. Let's put him in the second round. Not that great. It doesn't completely suck, uh, literally, <laughs> but uh, it's not as horrible as I thought it would be. But I mean, I wouldn't use it. So our last thing, I don't necessarily think that this is gonna be, well, I was gonna say I don't think it's dumb. I do think it's dumb. I think it's extremely unsafe and dumb, but on one hand, I think it's gonna be kind of cool. It is a desktop fireplace. I didn't know it was gonna be wrapped up in all this paper. Okay. Let's see, we got a little coaster. Put that there. I guess this is a little lid to kind of snuff it out. No idea what these are, but they have spikes on the end, almost like a, maybe like a marshmallow roaster or something. Don't know that I would want to roast marshmallows on my desk. All right, let's see how big of a flame this thing makes. Cause that is my, that is where I'm going to have to decide whether or not it's dumb. So inside this bottle is rubbing alcohol. Don't ask why. I feel like I might have filled that up way too much. Okay. Why is it making that noise? I don't like that noise. Why is it doing that? The noise is very creepy. I still feel like this is dumb because like, say if this was a, like a desk that you're working at, how safe is it to have literally an open flame this big at like your working desk? Maybe if you had this on like a table, like maybe if you were having like dinner or something and you had this as like a, like a centerpiece, I could maybe see, maybe it not be that dangerous, but it's a pretty big flame just to have hanging around. And of course, I know I'm not the I'm not the guy to be talking about safety, but I feel like it's it's even getting bigger too. I actually kind of think this is cool. Uh, I just don't think that it's very intelligent to have something like this. But other than that, I think it's pretty cool. That's all I have. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.